Alright, so they say I'm alive. I am live. How's it going, beautiful people? This is Jose Trujillo. I'm an artist. And I wanted to do record this live. This is a canvas that measures five feet by six feet. Sixty by seventy-two inches. And I'm going to make one of my large paintings here. And I wanted to record this. That way you guys can see what this whole thing is about. Maybe it'll be a, a positive impact for some of you out there. I don't know. Maybe not. Who knows? What I do know is that I'm going to do it. <laughs> so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using for, for materials. I'm going to be using this, which is a graphite. Okay, it's a graphite. And then I'm gonna be using the Shiba oil stick. So, I'm gonna paint it, and I'm gonna need this too. <laughs> I need my Starbucks, baby. So here we go. I have a reference right here on my monitor of, um, of the painting that I'm gonna do. And again, this is, this is loose brush work. And this is this is uh, uh, this is my jam, right? The best way to go about this for me is to just go about this. I don't, I try not to think so much about it. Uh, I've discovered early on in my, in my career that, that the more you think about something, the shittier it comes out. <laughs> uh, this is not to dismiss any of the, of the, of the efforts done by a lot of great artists out there who create very great work in, in realism or hyper-realism. It's not to dismiss that. I'm, I'm talking about loose brush work, okay, which is the stuff that I do. The very loose thing. This is a, a drawing of the Da Vinci's, um, what's a representation, right? Of the drawing of Da Vinci's uh, mother, child, which is Mary and, uh, and St. Anne and John the Baptist. I love creating works like this because I think and this is just a personal thing, right? This is, this is just a personal thing. I think that classic works were very abstract, especially especially Baroque, Renaissance. They were very abstract. And had they had more liberty, it is my belief, these guys would have been much more abstract than, than what we give them credit for. And I, what, I'm, what I'm saying abstract is I'm talking about different stuff, right? I'm talking about the fact that they were extremely well versed in in more than just uh, in more than just uh, painting happy, pretty little pictures. These guys were doing very significant stuff, very different stuff than than, than many people out there. You know, of course we know that, but but I, I believe that we don't give them enough credit many times. 
we don't give them enough credit, and we lump them into this sacred place where they only create this very realistic work, and they were achieving, trying to achieve this perfectionism. But I, I don't believe that for a second. I don't buy that story. I think this is very, very liberal thinkers, very forward thinkers, that were extremely in tune with ideas of abstraction that today we can't, we can't even conceive. That's just me. I don't know. Thank you so much, guys, for joining in. I'll start waving at people. And again, this is a this is a five by six canvas. I'm gonna record the whole thing, guys. Okay. So the whole idea is to because uh, on Instagram, I think I can only record an hour. So the whole idea is to get it done before then. Uh, we'll see, right? We'll see. That's the whole idea. If it requires more than that, well, it requires more than that. There's nothing I can do about it. But if I can finish in less than an hour which is very likely, it's just how I work. And then I finished it within an hour. I'm about the only badass who paints and sips him some coffee at the same time. Here we're going to have John the Baptist. Because remember, Jesus is younger, right? John the Baptist right there. So again, I think that the, the artists back in the day were very, were very abstract guys. Uh, this is just a little recognition that I feel like I've, I've done in looking at this work. And it's not meant to simplify. Again, it's not meant to simplify. 
or diminish or degrade, because some people think that, like, like, uh, El Greco, Caravaggio, they're very abstract, you know, and, and some people don't seem to, to understand that, they, 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 I've had this conversation with other artists, they're like, they're like, of course they weren't abstract, they were pure perfection. I'm like, you have no idea, how abstract. Rembrandt, Caravaggio, El Greco, Velázquez, Da Vinci were extremely abstract. Now I'm going to go into it with an oil stick. Okay? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. I have to peel this thing because this is messy. These oil sticks. Plasters are messy. Okay. And in order to use this oil stick, you kind of have to really press in there because you have to break through the wax or paper, whatever it's holding the oil. And the only reason I did the drawing uh, beforehand with uh, with. Is to get some of the, some of the, at least some of the proportion, right? To get some of the, of the, calibrate a little bit of the proportion. It's important to me, a little bit. Not too much, but a little bit is important to me in my artwork. I don't know if it's a, I don't know if it's just a, I like to keep some sense of a little bit of tradition in there. I don't know. I have no idea. I haven't figured it out, nor I want to. But I know it's important to me to keep a little bit of the proportion in there. And notice the whole thing is to make it flow, okay? The whole thing is to make it flow, baby. If it doesn't flow, it, I'm not doing my job right. The whole thing has to flow, it has to flow. This is what I believe loose brush, loose brush work is all about. It has to flow.
You guys have no idea the immense amount of happiness and acceleration I feel <laughs> when I'm creating artwork. I'm always talking about, about art being a business and whatnot, and some people are like, oh my god, you keep talking about business. And <laughs> That's also because I also take the art aspect very seriously. That's why I get to talk about, that's why I say, hey, buy my stuff, hey, my artwork, blah, 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 because, <laughs> because I, I take it very seriously. So I feel like I, I, I earn the right, in other words, to talk about artwork. I'm going to go and try to see if anyone writes something because I will be reading the messages if there are any. Not good signal here so keep me missing uh, using your oil paint stick. It is much freer to paint big. Can you show us the reference photo? Absolutely. It, it's it's just a painting by by uh, it's just a painting by Da Vinci, you guys. It's a it's a it's a drawing by Da Vinci. Let's see if you can see it here. There it is. That's all it is. It's just a drawing by Da Vinci. It's a very beautiful old drawing and and I'm uh, I'm making it abstract that's all it is I'm, re I'm, I'm representing I'm not making anything I'm representing it So this is the beauty of of creating artwork in a different scale. It allows for It really allows for a whole different set of rules, you know? It allows for a whole different set of rules that you might not even think were available to you until you start doing hard work like this. So there is that first part of it. There's the first part of it. And then now, This is oil, this is not mixed media, uh, it's just oil. Uh, by the way, this was free drawing, right? I know a lot of artists out there who are like, who'd rather get the proportions exactly right and want to project or want to do a, a metric uh, system 
which by the way there's nothing wrong with any of that I personally as I as I've gotten older and as I've played more with with my artwork I much rather prefer to do it loose drawing and freehand it just it speaks volumes and I, I couldn't tr I couldn't trade that for anything I uh, I much I much rather get the proportions wrong and do it free than to try to nail everything because then it's not I don't feel like it's me anymore. It, it, there's nothing wrong if you do it. If it's you, if, if it's you, it's you. You know. But if it's not you, uh, no, they're not oil pastels. They're they're oil sticks. Uh, they're the Shiba oil sticks. Uh, at first, I used to think that they were oil pastels too, but they're not. They're actually just they're they're just oil in a stick. They're oil paint in a stick instead of a, a paste, right? It's a stick. So here we go, guys. Now what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm going to start supporting a bit with oil, right? I got my oil over here, my brush, and I'm gonna start supporting a bit of what I painted and what I mean supporting I'm talking about exactly what I'm saying supporting uh, The reason why I rather do it with the oil stick is because this takes passes. That's the difference, okay? This I have to go and dip it in oil and go do it, runs out, go dip it, go do it, runs out. The other one, this is like painting with a pencil or a marker. You know, it never runs out. It never runs out. So so the flow keeps going. That's why I started with this. Because I wanted the flow. The flow is very it's, it's extremely important. The flow is extremely important. It's extremely important to not cut the flow. For me it is anyways, right? For me it is. It's extremely important to not cut the flow and, 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 and continue, continue the flow. Where the painting starts. The beautiful thing about representation is like it's like if I am my own instrument, right? And I'm playing the same song, but instead of a it's, it's freestyle, instead of doing it with notes. I am playing an old song with a harmonica, right? That's one of the ways that I like to look at it. It's a, it's a, I'm playing a very old song with a harmonica. This is a very old song. And I'm representing it with a thurman or a harmonica or some sort of instrument that is Bigger brush. Art in the making, baby. This is art in the making.
That's all it is, nothing fancy. It's just an artist. Just an artist doing some artwork in his studio. So the whole idea is to bring out some of the characteristics, of course, of the painting, of the original drawing, but, but play with it. Do your father's work. <laughs> your father's.
If Leonardo da Vinci found out what I'm doing, he'd probably try to hate me. <laughs> oh, Leonardo, you're all right. Or who knows, maybe he's helping me right now. Tink, wink, wink. <laughs> Spooky shit. <laughs> now this is this is not everyone's cup of tea. I know that. I know this is not everyone's cup of tea, but I'm gonna I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This is this is definitely my fucking cup of tea. I love this work. This is, I live for this kind of ish. This is the kind of stuff that gets me going. It's almost as if I'm trying to use the same brushwork of the Fabists and Monet's years in Giverny and his last days when he had cataracts and his painting water lilies, but I'm trying to represent a classical painting by the great master Leonardo. Do you get, do you get what I'm trying to do? Do you get my flow? It's almost as if I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to achieve a loose brushwork with pastels. Playing around, guys, my work is very, very fucking serious. I just joke a lot. I had enough time to play with it. I had enough time to come up with with my with my Genesis Qua. I, I I was saying people that don't like my work either really just don't like it, and that's totally fine, or just don't get it. You either just don't like it, and, and, and that's fine because you're not supposed to like everything you see. Or you just don't get it. Because I, I've crafted my work. This is years and years of, of uh, resolve. This is, a, this is years and years of resolve, of playing around, of Finding the right shading, finding the right, what well, works for me, finding the right line work, the right thing, the right thing, you know. Whatever that is, right? Everybody has the right thing for them. How am I going to be able to achieve a very serious work? with pastels. How am I going to be able to create very serious work with pastels? You know? That's, that was something that haunted me. That was something difficult. It took me years to start figuring that out. How am I going to be able to, to speak about a very serious work, such as the Renaissance, with pastels? With what essentially Monet used to, for his water release. How can I do that, you know? So it, 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 takes, it takes playing around, it takes practice, it takes... First of all, I think it takes falling in love with your work. Some people don't even like that I love my work so much. I'll, I'll, I'll be posting on, on, on Facebook or YouTube how much I love my work, and people get upset, people get offended. They're like, I'm so tired of hearing you how much you love your work, man, because you don't love your work. I love my work. I am madly in love with my work. 
I know how fucking good it is. And I can't wait to grow more as an artist. I love my work so much. It means so much to me. I watched it evolve. I watched it grow. I know what every brush stroke means. Also learn to let go. That was a very difficult thing to do. As an artist, it's a very, it's a very difficult endeavor to let go of perceived ideas and and how things are supposed to look like. And, and that, that, that was the most difficult part of it, to be honest with you. As the great uh, Degas said, painting is not painting until you don't know what you're doing. You're not really painting until you don't know what you're doing. And I'm going to be honest with you, 90% of the time, I have no idea what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. You know, some people, some people like to uh, talk about how, how much they know what they're doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. I just... I just know I'm doing something. I think that, that makes me a lethal weapon in the art world. <laughs> hey, baby. I'm gonna get you to get. I'm gonna help you get that down right now. Okay. Give me a second.
Oh, you went and got another one? Hmm? You went and got another one? Um, I got two because they were on sale. The height of these ones, so that we could continue this. I like it. Shopping. All right, guys, I think that that's uh, about it for now. Anything after that is uh, pushing the, the boundaries. <laughs> I am looking at a photo. I'm looking at the actual uh, drawing, uh, uh, the Leonardo da Vinci drawing. That's his bad answer, right there. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I am looking at a photo. Uh, I'm looking at this one right here. So there it is, guys. Thank you so much for, for uh, hanging out here with me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Uh, if I work any, any more on it, I'll let you guys know. Take care. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.